All right, in this video, I wanted to get you started on creating your own little IoT project, Internet of Things project with an app called Blink that I really like. Um, this will work with a lot of different microcontrollers. I'm, I'm using my, this Particle Photon, uh, which is a Arduino with Wi-Fi built in. You can get them for about 20 bucks, and it's, it's my personal favorite for Internet of Things projects um, for, for a lot of reasons. Uh, but that's the one I'll be using. Uh, but this will work with, uh, with almost any microcontroller that can connect to the internet. So a uh, popular one amongst, amongst students is the ESP32. Uh, that one works great too, um, but this will work for, for whatever you're doing. So uh, I won't get into the, the too nitty gritty about the microcontroller specific details, um, uh, but some of these will be different. So the first thing you need to do is you need to install the Blink library. Um, so on the particle, I can just do particle library add uh, Blink and it's gonna add that library um, to this project. Um, if I'm on like the Arduino app, um, if I'm using like an ESP32, I might do, uh, I can use this library manager up here um, and that's gonna pull up this menu. So I can search for Blink. Um, and it's going to tell me that it's already installed here. Uh, but if it wasn't installed, like if I wanted this blink for Chinese, I could install that. So, um, that's how you'd find it on the Arduino app. Um, so great. Um, uh, next thing I need to do is, um, I need to create a new project. So I'm going to get on my phone here. My phone is showing up on my screen. Uh, and I'm going to do a new project and I'm going to call it, um, call it whatever you want. Theory. Uh, Blink EX, uh, Blink example. I need to check, uh, choose my controller that I'm using. You can see there's a huge list of ones that are compatible with this app. Uh, I'm using the Particle Photon and I'm going to click Create. Uh, that's going to email me this secret token um, f for this app and it, that's going to go to my email. So. Uh, I'm going to open up my email um, and, and find that secret token. And then what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to go um, open up a new tab here. I'm going to go to Blink Examples. And they have a bunch of pre-written code that does uh, a lot of cool things, but it can be a little bit opaque at, what, at what's going on here. And so I wanted to, this is what I really want to walk you through. So I'm going to select my board over here, I'm on the particle photon. Um, and I got that token. Uh, again, normally you want to keep this secret. Um, so I got my token. Um, I copy it and I paste it over here. And then it's going to write this bit of code for me. Um, and let me make this a little bit bigger for your screen. Uh, so it has my authorization token. Um, and then it has a uh, blink.begin in the setup. And then in the loop, it calls blink.run, and that's where it just checks the app and it, it updates what's going on. Uh, this won't work well if you have other delays in your program, in your Arduino program. Um, and so when you're programming Arduino, there's a lot of ways you can, like if you're blinking an LED and you want to blink every two seconds, uh, you can do uh, digital write high, delay 2000, digital write low. Um, you could, that's fine, but it's not the best practice. Um, there's other ways to make it blink every two seconds without ever using a delay. A delay is called a blocking function, and, and we are going to try to avoid that. So I'm going to just copy and paste this code um, over here into my example. Um, and also on my app, I'm just going to hit run. Um, this, this tells me up here that it hasn't been online yet. So um, now I'm going to copy and paste this code. and. I think I'm done with this example for now, so I'll get rid of that. Um, and I'm gonna just flash um, this to my Arduino, this code that I just wrote. So um, on my Arduino here, you should see it start flashing magenta. Uh, that tells it that it's, it's uploading new code uh, in just a second. Uh, there it goes. Great, it's flashing magenta. Um, so going back over to my app now, Cool, so now this uh, that one went away and it says we have, um, oh, it says it's not online. 
but it is. Um, so we need to do something interesting. We, we, we don't have anything really interesting to do. So um, if we, uh, a couple things we can do though is um, I can open the serial monitor um, and if I reset this photon, uh, we should get a little like welcome splash here that, that tells us we're connected. There we go. So that tells us we're connected. It says it's ready. It's connected to the cloud. Um, so uh, I'm going to add a button. Uh, and this button I want to do, I want to connect it to, um, to digital pin 7. Um, digital pin 7 is uh, this one right here with the built-in LED on it. Um, and so uh, I have it connected to pin 7. Um, and I'm going to... Um, now run this app and I can uh, push that button and you can see I'm pushing that button and it's toggling that, that LED on and off. Um, so I'm controlling that LED from my phone. Um, so that's kind of cool. I can uh, hook up um, this. Let's see. Oh, I just lost it. Here it is. I can hook up a... Um, Another LED, I'm going to show you another way I could do this. I'm going to hook up an LED to pin 2. Um, and I want to show you another way you can do this if, if, you, if you want to have a little more control over what's going on in the app. So I can hook up this LED to pin 2 uh, and then I need to connect it to ground using my 330 ohm resistor. So I got my, my circuit built with my LED and my pin. Um, I'm going to go back to that example code. Um, so let me pull this back up. Um, and um, I'm going to get this one here that says push data. Um, oops, get data. Um, so what this has now is um, it has this function. The new thing that it has in this code is this function, uh, blink write v1. And so um, this is telling me that I can get information and I can, uh, from a, a slider, and I can uh, interpret that in my app. So I'm going to uh, put this here. I'm going to add that function um, to my, my code over here. And I'm going to save it. Let's see, file, save. And then I'm going to compile this code and flash it. Uh, so compile it. Well, that's doing that. I'm going to stop this. I'm going to add a slider. So I'm going to take this slider here, um, and I'm going to connect this slider. Um, I just said I wanted it to be on virtual pin one. Um, so, and I can adjust the range. I have it going from zero to 255. Um, so I have that slider. I'm going to rerun this, and I'm going to flash my new bit of code. Um, so it's going to flash here. All right, so should be good to go. Um, I'm also going to open up that serial monitor again. Um, I'm just using the one built into Arduino, and I'll clear the output. Um, and so now I should be able to adjust this slider, and it spits out the value. You can see I can adjust this slider, um, and it spits out the value there. So it's a way for me to have just uh, more granular control. And then I could say um, I could add some code here. Um, I could say if... Pin value is less than 155. Turn off the LED and else. Turn on the LED and I can't forget to do um, It's a good idea to do pin mode output. Um, I should also really be doing that for my seven. So pin mode Okay, so I'll save that. Do particle. Let's see if I can just do this in one step here. Gonna need a set, couple of seconds to connect here. Connected. So now I can adjust that slider 
and you can see that if I'm above 155, that light turns on, and if I'm below 155, that light turns off, and I can still control, um, I can still control that other LED as well, D7, so I can flash that on and off. One more thing I want to show you is um, I wanted to build a quick uh, circuit here where I can have an input. Um, so to do that, I'm going to need a wire here. So um, I build a quick circuit where I have an input and I can read that on my app. So um, let me go from this 3.3 volt pin. I'm going to build a quick voltage di divider with a photo cell. So I have my photo cell. Um, and this needs to be grounded. Um, so let me get another wire here. So photocell going through my resistor. Put my resistor here. The other side should go to, to ground. Um, and then uh, I can bring this pin uh, into, I'm going to plug it into like A, let's just do A3. Um, so I have my, my, my photo cell here, and again, I can go over here to this app, and I can show push data. Uh, and so this is going to be pushing data, uh, and this is going to push values to V5. Uh, and it says, uh, they're trying not to, they don't want you to send stuff to their more than um, every uh, 10 milliseconds. So they're using this special timer function that is basically saying that it's only going to uh, set it um, every every 10, uh, it looks like about every one second. So I'm gonna um, just copy this. So it's basically saying uh, this, this is one way you could get something to blink. Um, it's gonna say uh, every 1,000 seconds call this function and, every, and then every time it does that, it's gonna write this value to V5. Um, so it's, it's writing the time. Uh, but I don't want to write the time to V5, so let's uh, copy this over. Um, I need this in my setup. Um, and this is my function. And then I need this timer too. Um, you can have multiple timers if you're doing things at different rates. So if you wanted to have two lights flash at, at different frequencies. Um, but I want to do virtual right. Um, I'm going to do analog. And I'm going to do A3. Um, so now I'm just I'm, I'm doing that virtual right A3. Um, and I need to set pin mode. Excellent. So saving that, I'm going to recompile this and send it over. Uh, and then let's see what we got to do with that on my phone. So um, I want to add, let's do what could be cool. What if we add a um, let's just add a chart. So and this is connected, should be um, connected to uh, the pin is going to be a virtual pin, V5. Um, and we could play around with some of the settings, but I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, so we should be all set to go here. So uh, got my chart. And I'm going to click run here uh, and see if that works. See what, see what we need to do to get this working. So there we go. Um, so now I have this live stream of data, and you can see that if I, if I cover that sensor, um, it drops down. If I cover, uncover it, it goes back up. I could uh, turn on that big LED that's next to it, um, and you point the sensor towards it. Get some different values. So um, kind of cool. Uh, so now I have this little, uh, this cool little widget that's showing me what, the, what those values are. So um, just a, a cool little Internet of Things app that I can have running. Um, I can, uh, you know, turn this off on my phone, and then I can always go in and see 
uh, what this looks like. Um, and I can even like, um, I could add this to my home screen or share it with my friends. Um, so a lot of fun stuff I could do here. Hope you enjoyed that video.